Welcome back to Lion Mark TV, your number one highlight spot. Okay, so. <laughs> okay. So let me add lunch this time around, okay? That'll be beautiful. So. Try some. Just go off and come join me, see. Okay, let's. He's adding me let's now. Try, let's try something, okay? Let him let him All add right. me. So you ask to join. And um you guys, I'm going to switch off again and join him. Is that okay? Okay. So, Madam dragged me here that they be waiting for under the mango tree. So, today I'm gonna be the anchor of under the mango tree. So, today, can you request to join this show and then you go to somewhere else and I'll invite you to my show right now? And I'll be the one dishing out <laughs> oh, the questions. Gosh. Can you uh, imagine? Uh, okay. See, you don't even I'm know how to handle this to. one. That's the problem. <laughs> Let me join you now. The shop you have Sorry guys, the people are here already. So, so I've, I've sent request. Um, have you requested? So, I think it's. Let me go somewhere else. No, no, no. You come here. Come and stay with my son. No, right, stay so. with your son. Go, go oh, with your father. Oh, go with your dad. So we have to do this like, like live. Okay, oh, guys. Okay. So I have to come back for the way. Okay. So. Problem is my phone. That means I need a new phone. What I don't want to be in the same. Let me be here. Since I come back home. I was actually in my office. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. And um, Madam. Yes, sir. Madam Lush. Yes, sir. And How yeah, are you? I'm fine. So. <laughs> So, um, welcome to Under the Mango Tree. Yay! My people, please join over to Obi Kubana. Welcome to Under the Mango Tree, sir. Thank you, ma'am. How are you? I just saw you right now, so don't ask me how you can see. I'm, I look, I, I feel good. I look good. Amen, baby. <laughs> so how are you? So I have understood. I've come to learn that you don't know how to operate a basic phone. Babe? You can't go live. Phone. What's so the I'm going live. I'm going live on your behalf. I need it. So, so you owe me. Okay. Daddy, daddy, I got to. Yeah, that's what I'm going to say. Yeah, never. Okay. Thank you. Love you. Um, thank you for your yeah. patience. You can we stay there. That we're waiting for you. Good boy. Okay. Can we get this? Obi. So everybody is here to hear your story. And uh, today's topic is what, guys? Who can remind us today's topic? We are going to. You're going to be telling us how you've been able to enjoy your marriage. <laughs> no, we. <laughs> we see marriages breaking off under six months, three months, and all of that, and you've been able to. 
to keep yours for 14 years. Your relationship, officially and unofficially, how many years? 17. 17 years, okay. So you've been able to keep your marriage for 17 years. Almost and two huh? Almost two decades now. Yeah. Um, okay. we want to hear you share your story I told them today it's not me it's not for me to share my story the day I'll share my story I will tell everybody but today you're going to be sharing your story starting from how you met this beautiful <laughs> lush 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 <laughs> Yeah? Starting from how you met Lush. Was okay. it a fight? Was it what exactly? Uh, you came to chop and go and, you know, I don't know what. Tell us. <laughs> Dad, okay. you put another day, so please. Okay. So, what's the question again? Please, can you rephrase? You want me to say how I met you, or how I've been maintaining you, or how I've been managing you, or what I've been doing to keep you, or All what you're doing to keep me? People want to learn from a love story. Okay, the love side. How have you been able to maintain it for 14 years? Okay. Plus three years. Okay. Yes. Okay, so actually it was you that chased me. Hey, don't, don't, give, don't give us that line. It's, it's oh, okay. so not me that, that chased me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, this is about telling... Um, the truth and nothing but the truth. So, so help us, God. Amen. Okay. So, like I said, my wife, this is my beautiful wife. She wasn't this beautiful when I met her. It's the love I keep pouring on her. Yeah. You know, this boy, go and sleep. You know, the you can. Yeah, Go. So it was once upon a time, 17 years ago, that a tiny small girl came to my garden. Then I had a garden. A garden. A garden. And some of us who came a little Abuja knew what a garden then. No gardens where I was selling my own hobby and my pan wine and my goatee. So, because she's a local girl who loves local delicacies, and I'm a specialist in garnishing local delicacies. Local girl, local boy. That's how I set up for her. And she gets to eat a goosey soup with the unquabi. You catch up. Okay? So, <laughs> so, that's that. But seriously, on a serious note, this lady here is my best friend. She's my friend. She's my bestie. She's my confidant. My confidant. So she hold my mumu button like this. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know where to start. But the truth remains that we met at my place. A garden then I was running here in Abuja in Gariki, where she came to eat during her call to bar because she's a lawyer and I loved her simplicity but I never meant to go and follow her. I was trying to do be my in my best element to do my work as the best customer care owner of a business. So that was how she after eating that egusi and Nkwobi, she intentionally 
forgot her certificate. I called her back. Can you imagine that? So I, I also carefully kept it for her so that she can come back tomorrow to come and ask for it. And then she couldn't even wait for tomorrow. In the night she came that she forgot something. I said, what did you forget? He said, I said, how can you leave East Enugu with Peace Mass Transit bus? Because then she wasn't flying. That's the truth. Hmm. Inter bus, bus. She yes. inter bus from Enugu to Abuja. How can you come? The same thing, the only thing that brought you to Abuja, you are certificate called to bar. You spent five years reading law and you came to six collect years. and you forgot it in a garden. No fence, no security. Okay, no problem. Sit down first. I offered her a good seat again and she ate. And she ate in Kwabi and drank small pound wine from her bar. And I gave her certificates. And she left. And we exchanged phone numbers. That is the beginning of this worker. Since then, we die here. We die here. That is the summary of the meeting. <laughs> and you borrowed it. Well, I'll tell my own story. It's you today. Yes, I thought. Okay. But, come on. Yeah, I thought you had money then. Okay, anyway. so you have so, so you have so you after my, my money. And, <laughs> and you told me you loved me then. <laughs> oh my god. So <laughs> now what do you can't find? You don't hook. Oh not like not like money, but you know so what you... were you looking for? What were you looking for? What were you looking for? No, it was it wasn't love at first sight for me, Joe. <laughs> so but let's let's leave that aside. Now what yeah. made <laughs> You've been here for 14 years, right? 17 years. Don't remove the three. Oh, 17. Yes. We've been officially, no. because we began to, okay, 17 years relationship. Tomorrow we make it 14 years. Official. Beautiful woman to the altar before God to say, God, this is the rib of my ribs. This is my missing ribs. I found her. We are about to consummate this relationship. Go before us. Be with us. Preserve us in this relationship. And God answered our prayer because to the top one soup for 40 years, you know, easy. But here we are. We die here. <laughs> now, before, before you decided to get married, were you scared? Scared. Yeah. I ran. Having cold feet. They call it cold. Scared is an understatement. I ran. I ran. The truth we say, I ran. Because it was scary. Relationship, you can be in a relationship for a lifetime. But those days, once you mention that thing, marriage. Mar it sounded like prison. Prison. Not to tie you down. So at a point, I almost chickened out. And then none of my contemporaries was actually married. But everybody, my siblings, we are all married. But none of my friends, apart from Obi Obi, and no one. Ito you didn't want to settle yes. that. Yes. Life. I, 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 I brought you an idea. Life was beginning to make sense. I started to see small, small okay. money. <laughs> I said, small, small money. I want to tie me down. I almost ran. Okay. From that, your Mkwabi and uh, quit sky money. No, no, I'm no. By, by then. No, no, no. Let, let me drag you back. Forgot. That Mkwabi. That one probably was by you airtime. That time to chase woman at airtime. 500 naira airtime. She don't fall. So I was giving you airtime. I was carrying you in my bands. In my bands. In my bands. 190. 190 bands, oh guys. I thought you I thought you had to drive. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I left my car for you. 
for your youth service and yeah. I was using a to go to work. Yes. I agree. No be no be that no be just be that. No be just be that. <laughs> With an L sign. She will put L sign in my bands to go to youth service to go and buga. And I will be using Wakada. Oh, yeah. you guys say oh for him. <laughs> he tried. Lord, 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 you don't keep me for this time. You don't keep me again for life. For life. <laughs> <laughs> try, he tried. He tried. <laughs> okay, he, he was he was skeptical about getting married. So even if you're like that now, it's not like out of place. But then. Baby, want to know why did you go ahead to get married, even when you didn't feel like it? Okay, so so um, after the initial shock, and I wasn't young, girl. It wasn't as if I was young, young, young. I was thirty three years. I was thirty three years, but it had never occurred to me I was gonna get married. I don't want to live my life. I just wanted to have fun. As a young man, I still see money. I just wanted to bachelor life, okay? I've been worked so hard to start seeing money in millions and everything. So it makes sense that I should be able to do certain things, but... Saying that you bachelor life. Hmm? That you, are you saying you didn't have time to do bachelor life? What are you I was, saying? I was, I was working there. Now, that was when we opened the design. I was working... 20 hours out of 24 hours to make sure the business was running. There was no time to sleep. There was no time to, to do freaky, 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 freaky. Okay. So I actually needed a break. I needed to like explore the world again as a rich boy. But as an upcoming, upcoming. Yes. Now from upcoming now, see where we're there now. Everything has life has history. So, that time I wasn't ashamed to be upcoming. Okay? So thank you, Jesus. So, but longer short of it is that people who were very close to me tried to talk sense into me that if you lose this girl at this point, and I tell you, I can say it for free right now, only God knows. Maybe I would have been bachelor for life if I had missed you. This my life. So this one enter. This one enter me. He did for your eyes. It's only God. It's only God that if I be thanking God every day. I I do, I do. I'm grateful to God. I say it every day to you. Yeah. I don't have I'm not ashamed to say that. Oh. So now um you didn't answer the question. What made okay? You said people started talking sense into you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. So, at the, you know, you know, at the time, no matter how, how you want to be a hard man, mm. when you listen, you can say never. But when you sleep, you will start to reflect on what has been told to you. Mm. And you know, your mind can never lie to you, and you can never lie to yourself. Okay. Yeah. So. Reason started to creep into my naughty head then, and I went to one mall in uh, Garikide to buy a ring. And I asked you how 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 you proposed on the bed. And I asked you, maybe I did. Did I say you would mind? I said, baby, marry me. I took the ring, he entered, and here we did. Oh, uh, sure. <laughs> clap for him. I, I clap for myself. You can't marry. Even with the, the fear and everything. Now, let's move on, babe. Yeah. Um, how did you meet? Now, over the years, what can you say were the obstacles, like, what, what what can you say were like the problems you you encountered, or rather, did you encounter any problem, and how did you solve it? 
as a young man. In my marriage. Young husband. In my marriage. Yeah. No, mine, mine, uh, that, there wasn't any problem. The only thing is, you know, as a young guy then, there were a lot, there were, at the initial stage of the marriage, there were big distractions and, you know, those days, you leave your phone open, Madame will come and check phone and see what she's not supposed to see and you wake up to your wife crying and then you keep explaining every day as if you are reading Bible. Now, if you want to buy some Bible from the school, it's not to read the Bible that's the problem, it's to explain what you have just read. Start explaining and explaining and swearing to God that is not what you saw. It's not what you mean. So, the, so that was just the initial stage. But you know that a good marriage, marriage is like soup. You know soup. The first day you make it, you think it's sweet. But if you put it in the freezer, as you're warming it, the crayfish will be, will be melting. The maggi will be coming out. The salt will be salting up. And everything will be making sense. So as the days were coming by, you decided to, so you to understand because we, we are actually two imperfect people. I didn't know you from anywhere. I was dating you and then I was starting to understand the kind of things. Maybe my carelessness was hurting you and I was trying to be more careful. I was trying to be a bit more intentional about the person I'm dealing with. Because when you come back home, you have a wife who smiles at you, who gives you food. Then we used to go to the Bagaiki market to buy food. And make, she used to make food there. Okay, she loved okay, food. okay when we met, sir, so you didn't tell them that story. <laughs> How are when you, you used to? When you were to bring stew to me in some form. Eh? <laughs> when you were to bring to bring stew to me. I'm telling you, I will <laughs> cook for this man and I will carry you back. With pots, with sometimes taxi. Of course. Pot, rice and stew every Sunday, and I'll carry it and go to his house. And that's why I be, and, and that's why I will never stop to spoil you silly for the rest of my life. Okay, I remember in a three bedroom. I was mm -hmm. crying. I did a kite for you. Still you, are still, you are still doing stuff. <laughs> you, eh? you are still doing, but in a classy way now. You are still doing. I, I'm doing, Madam, now. Okay, so, I, will, <laughs> I will cook every time Friday. Every time Friday is coming, I'll be scared. Because Friday, I will go to market. This man has plenty of friends. The way he is now, that was the way he, he was. Sundays, people will be there. Well, it's not my story to tell. I'll tell you guys my own side of the story. Let him enjoy. I wonder why you're so, taking up. This okay. 20 minutes, this 20 minutes I have with you, you want to use it to tell your story. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, continue. That. that's why I wanted to call you back. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, so now, okay, you said there was no obstacles apart from your distractions and that time, have, chasing. Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, now, what? As a busy man, how, how have you been able to keep your marriage together? Because the, the, um, the kind of work that you do, people like you are supposed to be, you know, you know marrying two wives, having girlfriends, left, right, and center. It's not like, it's not like, you know, just how have you been able to keep your marriage together for 14 years? I think I think what you what you is it's it's simple. I think I, I think marriage marriage is something you should be ready. You should be ready for marriage before you enter marriage. You should be psychologically and emotionally ready. Okay? Uh -huh. So when you are ready to get married, you will be ready. To balance things. It's about balance. It's about strictly balance. I love my job. I love my business so much. Because that is what gives me relevance today. Everything I am 
everything I have, every access I've had in my life is because of the successes I have made in my business. So I will never joke with my business. Now, the essence of getting that money is for you to be able to take care of people, including and more especially people around you. Primarily, you are immediate family. Now, you should, I, I am not carried away pursuing material things at the detriment of my marriage and my family. Because who am I making the money for? Who am I working hard for? So it's a question of striking a balance. This is time for business. This is time for this. I already dressed out. I have a lot of couple I was supposed to be drinking out with. But Madam, I said today is under the mango tree. The network played its own role. So I drove back. I was trying, praying to God that you connect so I can go and be drinking and chilling with my friends while doing this live video. But because it didn't work, and I want to come back home and sleep. Sleep. I had to come back home. Now, my friends should understand that this is my primary mission, which is my wife, my home, my family. Okay? If we don't drink today, we drink tomorrow. But if I spoil her anniversary night, come on, tomorrow now, not the man of the year, I'm going to hear now. No, Binda. No, Binda, good morning. No, Binda, good morning. I don't like that name, no, Binda, from my wife. I like when she calls me baby. Uh -huh. That one is working. They enter my brain like that. Okay? So, I try to balance between my businesses, between my friends, between acquaintances, between associates, and my wife. I know I don't have a lot of time, but every time and every moment I have to spend in my area uh, where my family lives, I make every second count. I make every minute count. I make it so special to them that even if I'm not there, I'm doing business, those moments will be cherished. Those moments, will, your presence will be felt in the house at every point as if you stay there. So, Alosh, I did try. Calm down. Okay? Let's clap for him. Okay. <laughs> So can I go and drink now with my no, friends? No, no, I cannot go. We oh, waited one hour here. <laughs> okay, <So>. sorry. <laughs> now, okay. you've not really... What are those things? What do you think are essential for a marriage to work? Like somebody asked me, um, asked you now, the things that you feel um, that are necessary for marriages to work. Okay, I think I think the most what? important. I think I, I I think I think the most important of all the ingredients of surviving, not surviving, should survive marriage of enjoying marriage, is respect, mutual love and respect. What do I mean by respect? Because I know my wife's feelings and how she takes. To this her life program, I respected that by turning back, by coming back home to come and do this life. She will appreciate me. Okay? Mutual love and respect. What do I want? If I want this, I should be able to give this. I should I should be able to give you respect, attention, time, love, money. Now Everything falls under these ones. Everything will fall under this one, including sex. Plenty sex. 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 You must know how to service your wife very, very well. What are you saying? Okay, good. Sorry. I thought it was for adults. Sorry. So, we read Thanks. the Bible. We read the Bible a lot. Okay? Is that what, that's what you want to hear, Abby? You're giving okay. me sign. Sex. You say plenty sex. Sex, sex, sex. I see. Yeah. 
It's, it's just like when you are doing plastering. Plastering in the house, you are putting cement, 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 cement. That cement is what is holding the sand from falling from the wall. Okay? So you don't get... What I'm trying to say is it's not for you to be harassing everybody with a standing something. But for you to know that at every time you are called upon to perform your manly duties in the house, you dig the bamboo. Why do you think I made a dogu beaters? Why? Of all the tricks to do, I want to do a dogu beaters. Yeah. You know, short, you know, short you. <laughs> now you don't enjoy that dogu now. Don't expose yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Yourself. <laughs> okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me guide this one. Hold us on the one side. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. So you said respect. Mutual respect. Don't do to me what you don't want me to do to you. You see, if people understand this world, whatever you cannot take, don't give. You don't. You don't like insult. Don't insult. You don't like abandonment. Don't abandon somebody. You don't like fatting. Don't fat where I am. Did you okay? say something? If you, you don't, don't like, have... if you don't like to receive fat, don't fat where I am. Because fatting. Fat I tell fat... them what, what you do to me. The fat... abuse. Fatting is a very important. You see, once you can fat in the presence of anybody. Man will fat and use duvet to close my head for yes. me to. Be smelling his fat. That is, is the it? binding. Of, that, that is the binding of the love. That is the binding. That is to bind you in love. Bind me in like love. Covenant, conv covenant, covenant. Is, is that not wife abuse? You <laughs> fat and you will not allow me to run, and you just cover me with duvet for me. Just, 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 just what I say. People that are respecting me now, now they know the 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 is fatting. How can you? How can you really cool me? And this your fat, eh? the way it smells, eh? It's only the morning now. It's only the morning. The way you smell. Mine, I, I don't even... You need to go and wash your tummy. Lush, Lush, so, how would you feel? How would you, how, how would you feel that I died now? I will not die, you Then they will say... They will do autopsy. They do autopsy. And they... Odogu is dead. Cause of death. All release fat, all release fat in the system. How would you feel? Release it now, but allow me to. No, just... let me. Don't go it... on, don't go on. Then justice for Ebi. Who is that? Noni eighty one. We should do justice for Ebi. Eh? I, in the house, there is visitors' toilet. There is shower. There is urinary. There is wardrobe. There is everything. We did not build fatting room. So we can fat anywhere I want to fat. But please don't right. allow me to inhale your fat. That's what I'm saying. That is not love. That is abuse. Okay. So are we have to talk about my fat or about the love? Which one? You brought fat inside, you know? You brought fat inside. So you said respect, plenty sex. What it's else? Mutual love and respect transcends. Everything are uh, summarized under this. Mutual love and respect. Whatever you cannot take, don't give. If you cannot take slap, don't give slap. If you cannot take fat, don't give fat. If you cannot take chocolate, don't give chocolate. If you don't want your wife to stay out, don't stay out. Just with this one, just that. And there must be communication. There must be plenty communication. You should be able to talk. You guys should be able to talk. Talk about everything. And then talk about everything. I mean, it's very simple. Marriage is, marriage is sweet. Marriage is very enjoyable. Marriage is the best place to be in this life. But it has to be for you to, you have to understand. You have to understand why you are in that you don't get married because people are pressuring you to get married or because you want to have kids or because your parents are telling you you are the only child, you must get married. Or because they're telling you, ah, age, don't pass. You have to get married married because you are ready. Ready. Ready okay. to get married. Once you're ready here to get married, every, you can work out everything. You can work out everything. Okay?
so why why is there plenty um divorce and problems in marriage you make it sound so easy mine is mine is easy I, i've not been divor divorced i've not had problem in my marriage so how would i know why they are doing that but like i'm saying that because i was mentally ready i wasn't rich i was just an okay guy when i got married to you and the riches came so i was most importantly mentally ready to get married to you okay uh, mental is that you should be able to accommodate your you should be able to accommodate your partner and not tolerate you accommodate and once there's that healthy communication nothing is insurmountable everything i mean life life is easy marriage is sweet marriage is beautiful it's beautiful i've enjoyed every second i've never thought about i there's nothing like gray not to talk of gray it will never happen and it gets better like fine wine like a double bitters it gets better every second with you with you my baby with you it's okay so my next one i'll still marry you okay thank you can i go now baby not what advice wait what advice can you give to men young and old and also to women young and old and please i'm not a marriage counselor i know what advice we know like i keep saying one before you get married make sure you are mentally for any other thing is is a blessing god's blessing will come naturally marriage go ahead in marriage opens door to world as in world i'm talking from a man's perspective but you have to give peace a chance you have to create what comes in a in, in in an atmosphere of peace and love okay so um you should be able to allow yourself open up your heart open up your heart you don't hold on to things now i don't hold on to things in my life i don't hold on to anything in this life i don't hold be it anything i don't i don't i don't attach so much importance really right you okay. understand? I, I i have this mentality i have this mentality that empty i came to this world empty i will leave this world everything i have made in my life everything i have made in my life is by god's grace yes hard work but i'm not the most hardworking human being now i don't hold on to things the same way i don't hold on to grudges i do not hold on to grudges it doesn't help you because you will be the one having the heartache the person you are bearing the grudge might be sleeping and you will be holding on planning on what to do and the person will be snoring and you might not wake up due to heart heart attack so the way i don't attach importance i love life i enjoy the things of the way i'm i I'm a vanity person, but I do not hold on to anything. There's nothing I will lose in this life, apart from human beings. There's nothing in this life I will lose that will make me to shed a single tear. It will never happen. So why should I hold on to grudge? So the moment you let understand how to free your heart, the moment you know how to free your life of all worries, the moment you know how to forgive unconditionally, the moment you understand that this person is imperfect, that we're trying to make our union work, the moment you are trying to like be free from grudge, you see a different kind of life. You see the life that God has sent us here to come and live. The moment you let go of unnecessary competition, the one I will do you back. Ha! If I see you, I will prepare you. You don't need those kind of nonsense in your life. Let your heart flow flow freely and then forgive unconditionally but be careful in forgiving you you shouldn't be stupid in forgiving you forgive but you be careful you know what anybody can do and then you avoid the person and then but forgive unconditionally 
Okay? So, the moment you don't hold those grudge, and then uh, you did me this in last year, you did me this in August, this is the third time you're doing this to me, I will not forget. You are the one killing yourself. So, with this kind of mindset of forgiving and not holding on to anything, marriage is a beautiful place to stay. Marriage, there is no place. There is nothing as sweet as Lush. marriage. Okay? Lush. Lush. You know, I thought, no, my, Jay, you want to expose yourself here? Yeah? Calm down now. How about? Okay. So, Sugar, I... how, how do you... How do you... Has there ever been quarrels and altercations and all these things in your marriage? You know, they say marriage is not... No marriage is perfect and all of that. Has there ever been all those things and how have you been able to resolve them? But you, 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 you know that in my 70 years, you are my witness and God is my witness. I have never exchanged words with you in my entire life. I want anybody living to quote me wrong. I have never, we have never exchanged words as we not quarreled. You know, you say we know the carry face here. You know? We carry face. We carry face. If I'm hot, I won't talk. I won't talk because I have terrible mouth. And whatever I say is terrible. So I hold myself. I go out, I drive, I wind down the glass, or I take a walk, and my head will cool down. I will come back. If you are vexing, I will turn, I will collect, we settle, period. Whether you are angry or not, you must give me. I will chop, I will collect, we settle. In the morning, we are good. That is how what what works for me okay uh -huh. so you know that even if we're not talking because sometimes we don't talk but doesn't mean that we will say to us what we can be able to take back i have never opened my mouth to curse you or to tell you about it in my life you know that and me of course you are an, you are an engineer we're talking about you you are you are different don't worry one day i'll talk about you but everything I say about you is true. So talk about me now, no. No, 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 no. You won't sleep. If I talk about you now, your head will swell. And the door will not pass you again to go and sleep. So let me calm down. Let me reserve this. Okay. Um, I have a party. I want to attend the party. Today is the tour. I do that's birthday. So I'm going for that party. I you must go out this night. I must one, go out this night. One, one two, one two. Always running away. Hmm? <laughs> And, and uh, yeah, I'll go out to go and drink. I'll get high. I'll come back. I'll still collect because it's our anniversary night. Okay? So get ready. I'll collect okay. tonight. Please, They're asking me what's making my marriage sweet because I collect. I collect. Like if, collect. I, if, if I am if I'm on an usher in church and I collect your, I collect your, your offering, nothing will be lost because I'll collect what is due to me. At every time. I love to collect. I'm a collector. Collect. I'm a collector. Yeah? I'm a collector. 17 years. I'll be how many years you've been collecting? I will, I will, see, I will keep collecting. Even if we hold it falls out for your mouth, I will collect. It's my own. I will collect. And I'm, me that you know. I, 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 me that you, I me that you know. See, after Odogu Vitas, I'm doing Odogu Plus. Everything is to keep body kakaraka. Because I'll keep collecting. I'll, I'll be collecting. How much did okay. you pay your collecting like this? Somebody's daughter. Eh? And somebody's mother. How much did you pay? Uh, is, it by, is it by money now? Okay, how much? How much do you charge? How much do you charge? I collect. They're asking me to pay. To collect. <laughs> Madam, thank you. It's been an amazing night. And it's been great. Talking to your fans, thank you for releasing me. Eh? Let me go. Let me go. You see, we are doing this live special. And my guys are here already waiting for me. Hey, guys, I'm coming. So, <laughs> live here. see her. See her. I don't even know see how to ask her. See her. Eh? See her. 
Kiss, kiss, kiss. Mm -hmm. Hey, we don't talk for life, bro. I'll see you. Let me go and see my guys. Let me go and see my guys. And can I go back? So you ask your question. I don't even know. Because I can't. And I'm already downstairs. Yes, now. Lush. Yes. I will go down and drink first with my friends. If there's any question, I can actually take it. Come back. So it's. Yeah. I'm not going out yet. I'm going to go and drink downstairs. Okay, you're Okay. Uh, let me go and see my guys. Let me see my guys. Thanks for so that they can say hi online. to you. Okay. Mm? okay. Okay, you're still on. Yes, I'm still here now. So that you can see me drinking my double beer. I'll connect with people. Babe, so you're not going Maybe. to. Huh? I can't know. I let me drink with the people. Why are you guys watching? <laughs> of course, now. I don't tell her I'm too late. So, Lush, I'm getting ready for you, okay? You don't even need the double beaters now. Drink with the double beaters. Uh -huh. Now my head is clear. Mm -hmm. So, let me know when to let you to go. Now, let me sit down here. Okay. okay. So, it's our, it's our anniversary weekend. So Dave, I'm sure you have questions there. Since you're the one, answer some questions. Okay, who is asking the question? Question box. Guys, ask, ask him questions. Oh, yeah. I said what? Which question is that? Check your question box. Question box. Where is that one? You see, like, uh, a question mark there. No. Yeah. Uh, question. Oh, 99 question. Oh, my. You got a lecture now. How can I finish? Your wife voice is sexy. Is this my question? Come. I'm going to stop this nonsense. So, what didn't concern you and my white voice? Okay. Which kind of thing is this? Lord, she, you can't question that. Asking me, yeah. Uh, so, somebody say, Odobu, Odobu, you have side cheek. Which can you question with that on the eve of my anniversary? Okay. Which Answer now. The question. Uh, but you are, my, you are my side cheek now. How about? Okay. Somebody is asking, what do you like most about your wife? So that you can go and tiff her, Abby. I know the answer. So if I tell them now, they come and give it to you. Then they, uh, eh? Calm down. Mm -hmm. Are you mm? Mm? Somebody is asking, how many times do you take your wife out in a week? Well, I better get her out. We are inside. We are not outside. We are inside. So no, we'll answer question. You're not asking question. I won't take what? her outside. They will not snatch her from me. Thank you. Eh? I won't take you as so that they will not snatch me from snatch you from me or snatch me from you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. you take me out now. Uh, tomorrow we're going out. Don't worry. Tomorrow we are outside. Outside, we're outside. or inside? We're outside inside. Okay. So answer questions. Are you done? Yes, what do you I, tell people that are scared of getting married? They should deal with their fears and get married. But actually, you must look before you leap. Okay? You... How do you look before you leap? Hmm? Mm -hmm. No, because I knew you were the one for me, okay? How did you know? How did I know? Yes. I talk. Was it love at first sight? Which guy you hear love at first sight? Yeah? You were coming to eat a goosey. What did you try love? Did I know I will go that? But now you toast me, oh. you know, man. What was your financial status? Uh, when you. Was, your my financial wife? status, it was doing like eight weeks that time. It was doing like. <laughs> 
But you know that I was, I've been one of the most consistent guys in this life. I mean, yeah. even in secondary school, the university days, because it's all about contentment. At every point in my life, I've been contented with everything I had. At any particular point in time, I try to make do with the, everything. I, I, I don't look at what people have. Yes, maybe to motivate me, but I've never wished that I was in any person's position in life. I've always... I was, I've always like been contented. I've always like been okay. Because even as you are seeing me right now, you think say I've got to my decision. Never. It's just like it's, uh, I'm just starting you know. Okay, so focus. Is it is it planning to politics? Huh? Is it no good planning to go into politics? Okay, I'm asking questions. What the, what the one go do there? Hmm? No, he's not planning to go into politics. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Somebody said, um, uh, do you think um, money can sustain marriage? Money is important. Can money Marriage. Don't go and sleep. Go and sleep. Money, money is an oil. Money is an money is an oil. When you know, without oil, engine will not work. Everything that but is rotten, there, there, anything there that's people, they are yeah? still rich, but they are not happy in their marriage. What do you say? Of, of course, now it's, it's not the basis for happiness. But imagine like uh, you, uh, 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 imagine uh, making nice looking soup without seasoning. It can, still, it can still satisfy you. It can still feel your desires, as in you won't be hungry. But it might not be as um, as delicious as it should be. Money should money is very important. Though. Don't get it twisted in this life. Well, there is, it's, it's better to be stable than to be unstable. Okay, but marry, money should not be the basis for marriage. I say what sustains marriage mostly is understanding, mutual love, and respect, understanding, and contentment. You know that there's no matter the. You see, let me tell you, for women, rich men's. Do you know that rich men's? I don't talk too much this night, but money, money, money doesn't hold marriage. Just understand that it's about contentment and everything. Okay. Are you there? Yes, I'm there. All right. So, any other question? I mean, should I rest in Jesus' name? Uh, you will not rest in Jesus' name. The questions are coming and going. Babe, go to your question box. I'm sure there are questions there. Anyone, any, anyone that you find what you ask, I won't go and be picking questions to ask myself, questions I answer it myself. Okay. <laughs> You're the one. You're the one that is doing this now. So, uh, what does it take? Okay, I'm seeing the question. Um, okay, somebody's asking, I'm asking, what's your advice for men who hit their wife? You know my position, you know my position in all this now, you know? Like I keep saying to me, to me, anybody, anybody raising their hand on a fellow human being is a no-no for me. It's, it's, I have zero tolerance for bullying, for anybody holding, raising up their hands. A woman slapping a man, man slapping a woman, I mean, to me, it's very detestable. It shouldn't ever even cross your mind. It should never cross your mind. You shouldn't even think of it. You shouldn't even reason it at all. It should never, it should never cross your head to raise your hand and hit a woman or a woman to raise her hand and hit a man. It should, those should never, it's a no-no for me. Okay? If I abuse you for much, use a man, abuse me back. 
The amount I use, don't be hand. Don't show strength by hitting somebody. What? What's that? What's that? It shouldn't happen, please. So, to me, it's not even a question to be answered. I mean, it should be dealt with at any level in this life. Don't think of raising your hand to hit your woman. A woman, don't you ever think of raising your hand to hit your man, to hit your house help, to hit your driver, to hit your tailor, to hit your chef, nanny, anybody. You don't. If you're yeah, tired okay. of the person, excuse yourself or excuse the person. Let them go. Everybody will be fine. Last, last. Don't hit them. They're not animals. Okay? Mm. Thank right. you. Mm -hmm. Do you get tempted by other women? Mm? How do you handle uh, female so what? Do I? Do you get, I'm asking questions from the... Okay. What did they ask? Do, do you get tempted by other women? Then how do you handle... <laughs> Uh, at least thank god use the word tempted tempted temptation now even even christ was tempted but did he did fall no he didn't are you saying you don't fall who am i to i, I can, do, do we know they fall now fall for who if you know the level of nash all these people well, let go man don't talk we <laughs> that's think. why you see me every time i wear glasses i don't want to see i don't want to see I don't want to see. Because I'm Lagos. The architect who is building those nash in Lagos. Omar. I, but I don't see it. Oh. I hear. I don't see it. Okay? Oh so, uh, uh, so they can tempt, but I can never fall. In Jesus' name. Amen. How do you handle female fans? Okay. Female fans. We, 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 we. I wave at I wave at them. See how I wave at them. I wave at them. I'm taking. Okay. Mm. This was a, this this was a, how do you handle uh, partners having passwords on their phone? Oh well, password is very important so that you can save certain information on your phone. These days, people swipe and steal from people's phones. People use to post passwords to steal from their ATM. And then you might have some private things on your phone that only you and madam should be privy to. I mean, password is very important to save your sanity. Okay? Thank you. How, do you, how did you know your wife is the one? Which one is she? Like, that your wife is your wife. If what, what happened 17 years ago, you're asking me today. I'm going to remember why I knew she. She's the one what now. Wait, to convey a message about a bad attitude of a lady to her without she feeling bad. Come again? The best way to convey a message to a lady without she feeling bad, a bad attitude. Yeah, like, probably like, your like a woman... Like a woman who doesn't make bed when she wakes up or who doesn't... Yeah, something like that. No, I passed those level now. I Everything is perfect in my own side, so I wouldn't remember how to pass on those messages and everything. But, um, okay. but you can still say anything politely because we are all humans with our own imperfections, so you don't expect anybody to know it all. I mean, you can actually still pass on a message without being rude. You can actually pass on a message without being insulting. Okay? Uh -huh. So. What advice will you give to a young man who wants to be successful in life? Work hard. Work. Pray. Work. Have integrity. Don't think of cheating your fellow man. The best businesses come by recommendation. Okay? Have uh, you ever supported your wife to your family? Have I ever what? Reported your wife to your family. There's nothing to report now. What would they do if I report? If I report that, what would they do? There's nothing to report. I am blessed. I'm a special. My own case is different. I am blessed by the best wife in this whole world. So what am I? What am I reporting for? There's nothing to report here. Okay. Are you saying I'm but, babe? Are you saying I'm perfect? You are beyond perfect. You, you that I know. You, you, yeah, sure. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. How do you handle a woman who has more money than you when she loses respect for you because of her money? I, I don't have a woman who has more money than me. How would I know how to handle her? Sugar. Just What's it? <laughs> Answer. <laughs> Answer now. Why are you asking me what I don't know? You say, how do I handle a woman who is... Who has more money than me? You don't have more money than me now. So, <laughs> I don't know how to handle I'm, them. There's no question. Guys, I'm asking questions here. Everybody, I'm not asking questions. In, 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 in exam, they, they say attempt all questions, not answer all questions. So, I attempt. Okay? Yeah. Guys, any more questions? Woman, a really? woman... A woman that, a woman that has more money than you, just be loyal to her. She get her. She's the man of the house. No two words about it. Just be loyal. Be the, be the wife. Let her be the husband. She get her. Case finished. Okay. No. Does the wife still cook for you? No, I cook for her. Huh? For her. I'm a great chef, actually. Okay? All right. So it's been an amazing evening, guys. I've enjoyed every bit of this. And I wish I could actually stay on this live until it's our anniversary in the next two hours, 20 minutes, which is 12 o'clock. But, um... On my wife's invitation at any point, I will always come out here to drop a little experience that can benefit you if you choose to, to drop a little word of encouragement that will benefit you if you choose to take it. I'm not perfect in my own, uh, as, as a human being, but I strive. I strive to live as God will want me to live. I strive to be a shining example to what marriage should be. I try to impact on people. I try to pass on knowledge because I cannot go to beyond with anything I've learned in life. So it's not left for you to take what you have learned from me. It's left for you to use it. You're not compelled to do anything beyond listening. So I wish you well in your endeavors and wish us luck. Pray for us that we continue to be a living example to what marriage should be. Thank you, guys. I love you all. Lush, I love Great. you so much. I'm coming to the other room, and I will see you there. That is why I'm, I'm pumping up with Odogu Bitas. Okay, baby? Yeah. Thank you for coming. Yeah?